Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony, here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading on what decision do you need to make? So now that this Mercury retrograde transit is over, the path is now cleared for us to be able to move forward and make new decisions. A lot has been stirred up within us. You probably had so many emotions coming up and um, a lot of decisions we've been needing to make, but it's now clear for us to make these decisions and move forward. So it's very interesting because I'm standing in the middle of the forest that actually inspired this deck. So I could not think of a more perfect place to use this deck and do this reading. So I really hope you guys enjoy. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you'd like to purchase a personal reading, I have a new website up and I'm having a huge sale right now. So go to promiseharmony.com services and you can purchase a reading there and I'll leave the information below. So go ahead and choose a number, number one or number two. Keep in mind this is a general reading, it may not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please do leave a comment below and let me know. So what decision do you need to make? Number one, if you choose number two, fast forward. Well, the first card I'm pulling is the fox, which is very interesting because my partner actually just saw a fox. And I'm sad because I didn't see it, but I definitely felt its energy. And um, the fox is all about movement. The fox is all about travel. A lot of times I pull the fox for people who are about to move somewhere, who are thinking of moving home. So this could mean a physical movement. Oftentimes it does talk about you needing to move somewhere or to go somewhere or travel somewhere or stay somewhere like you being called to go somewhere. Like for instance, I was called to come here and a lot of it's starting to make sense now. I've been making friends, I've been making business acquaintances, um, my business has been doing great, my health and well-being are being restored here. So if your spirit is telling you to go somewhere and you're being called to go somewhere, just go. Even if it doesn't make sense, Trust yourself, you know, make logical decisions, but always follow your heart. Um, this could be talking about a metaphorical movement. Um, if you're not changing homes or thinking about traveling or, or going somewhere, it could mean that spiritually you are, are evolving and you're needing to make some decisions to basically just move forward. I always tell people the universe doesn't really care what decision that you make. It just matters that you make a decision, anything to stir up the momentum because if you, you know, you have free will and if you don't make the choices to move forward and just try something, anything, the universe can't really partner with you and co-create with you. Of course it will send, you know, things into your life. It'll try to help. It's always there, but you know, we're co-creating with the universe and the way that we do it is by exercising our free will choices. And you know, how is the universe going to know what you want if you don't get out there and try things and enjoy yourself? So this is really about just trying something, anything to stir up the energy. And you'd be surprised what the littlest things and the littlest changes in your schedule can do to help you. You've been going through a long period of rest. Um, just relaxing, kind of retreating from the world. The, the card, the hermit, is coming up in my mind. Like maybe you've been retreating from people, from society, as you're going through this awakening and just kind of figuring yourself out. But I do see that you are out of the cocoon now. You're like the butterfly and the rest card is reversed. So they're saying, it's time for action. It's time to take some action. You've been through a lot, you know, this is you. Um, you know, this this guy's made it through the forest, you know, he's, he's come out on the other side and, um, and there's been a lot, you know, that's happened. The blood on the tip of the spear, um, there's a mystery. You might not know the future. It may be very uncertain, which is why you're afraid to move forward. But, um, you know, we can't really worry and predict and try to control outcomes all day long, every day. At a certain point, you just got to flow with it. And so this is about you regaining your confidence and your strength, having fun with your life and um, you know, heading in a direction that is more enjoyable for you. And there's a lot of opportunity coming for you. That's what the hawk here symbolizes. This is talking about creativity, <laughs> needing to um, drag yourself out of the boredom, out of the humdrum of your life. I just see your nine to five job. I see your Netflix and chill. I see the same routine every day, day in, day out. And you need to shake things up. So maybe that's why they're saying to, that bird agrees. That bird's like, you need to, you need to figure this out. <laughs> um, I'm seeing like there's so much abundance and so many ideas and so much inspiration around you. If only you would just reach up and grab it. So um, there has been injustice in your life. 
This is why you have the fear of making decisions. This is why it's easier for you to just kind of be complacent and just kind of like take life as it comes. And you're afraid to exercise your free will because you're afraid if you choose something and you go out for something that you're gonna fail, that you're gonna be let down. But guess what? If you choose a path and it ends up being the wrong path, whatever, like you always learn something along the way and um, all paths always lead to the same place. All paths lead to your truth. So try a new path, get out there, try something new. Um, they're saying yes, um, there's something on your heart. Um, there's something on your heart that you want and they're saying yes, you can create this. Like this is what it's an alignment for you. Usually the reason that you have certain dreams and you have certain fantasies and you have certain goals is because um, this is what's an alignment for you. I used to dream when I was little about being a fashion stylist, about going to Paris, about coming to the forest, and look where I am now, you guys. Just take little tiny steps forward, um, and little by little, you're, you'll get there. There was a time where I was, you know, working as a swim teacher, and on the side, um, you know, driving to LA and doing photo shoots. It was like the weirdest time of my life where I was like a swim teacher fashion stylist, but whatever, like, if you gotta work at the restaurant and then, you know, do your acting classes on the side or something go for it um, little by little you'll get there and you know might as well die trying that's always been my motto <laughs> so um, they're saying you're leaving difficult times behind um, smoother waters are ahead there's talk of a new relationship in your life um, this is I usually get this card for like soulmates twin flames coming together like the coming together of two polar opposites and passion maybe around the corner is a new love connection for you but if you just keep doing the same thing you know there's this quote I, I like to repeat a lot it's if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. So you gotta try something different. They're saying focus. Focus on your dreams and what you want. And um, you know, you're gonna be insecure. You know, every time I hit play on these videos, I feel super insecure. I'm just like, ah, I don't know what these people are gonna think. What am I gonna say? Do I like have something in my teeth? Like, you know, but you can't let that stop you from being you. Every other person out there has to go through the same battle of facing their insecurities. And for me, you know, the anxiety about putting myself out there, making new friends, moving forward, trying new things, um, the only way you can move past that is just to face it. You know, I don't talk about it a lot on the channel, but like I have crippling anxiety. My anxiety is hardcore. Like sometimes I even have to medicate it. Um, as much as I like to do natural remedies and eat healthy and exercise and get sunshine for that, you know, sometimes it just gets out of control. And you know, I go through it, everyone goes through it. Um, you know, I was shaking on my car ride um, into this beautiful place just because I was like nervous for no reason. So, you know, even if you're headed to the most beautiful place and your path is beautiful and perfect, like you're still gonna have anxiety. So just know you're gonna have insecurities, you're gonna have anxiety no matter what. So might as well just do something with your life and have fun with it, you know? <laughs> so that's your message, you guys. I hope that resonates. Um, now for those of you guys who chose number two, this is talking about the decision you need to make is all about f letting your inner child have the steering wheel letting your inner child take control because you, your adult self and your serious mind and your monkey brain has been in charge for way too long. And um, you know, this is why your life is probably not exactly where you'd like it to be. So they're saying, be playful with your life, have fun, follow your heart, you know? I was making all these serious decisions and you know, trying to get a job and trying to get the paycheck, trying to work for the man, but my inner child was just like, quit that job, have fun, go out and travel and live your life. And now I'm living in infinite abundance. I don't have to worry about money. I'm making so much money through my artwork, through my fashion, through this channel. Like, I don't have to worry anymore. And if only you would let your inner child take the steering wheel, you would see what you're capable of. So this is talking about going back to childhood and thinking about any talents or any gifts or any skills that you had that you left behind. Um, for instance, I used to love painting and I, when I was little, you know, I used to love that, but for some reason I just gave it up. And a couple years ago I picked it up again and I'm happy and I'm loving it and I'm getting work in galleries and it's amazing. So you just never know, pick up things you left behind in childhood and move forward and just remember who you, who you always are is who you've always been. And you're gonna continue to be the same person. It's just you're evolving, you're growing, you're changing. So give yourself a chance. Give your talents and your gifts a chance. Um, there's so many opportunities that wanna come to you. Um, so the decision you need to make is more about embracing the opportunities around you, not turning down opportunities. 
um, I'm seeing the green man here and it's kind of similar to the first message where they're saying you just need to do something to stir up the energy. You guys look at this card. How amazing does this look here? I mean, this is literally the forest that inspired this tarot deck. So, I mean, oh my gosh, I just feel this energy right now. And this is the green man. And um, the green man is all about, you know, start an Etsy shop and, you know, model on the side and, you know, work at the restaurant and, and maybe you can collaborate with this friend. And like, it's all about just getting projects going. You know, you don't want to put too much on your plate, but, you know, add a couple things to the pot and start stirring. Try something new. This is about death. You know, a lot of times when you need to, you might need to make a decision to step away from something. Perhaps it's a relationship, perhaps it's a job, perhaps it's a lifestyle, perhaps it's an addiction. You know, this is all about letting go of people, things, places, situations, habits that no longer serve you. And um, being ready to embrace friendship. You know, another message for you, you need to make a decision to put yourself out there to be in a group of people. Being in a group of people is very important for you right now. So, you know, get on the meetup app, bring a friend, always be safe when you're using internet apps, trying to meet people and stuff like that. But, um, you know, there's, you know, you can connect with the rainbow fam. <laughs> Everybody, you know, connect with people online. Online communities are great if you're still not comfortable getting out of the house. But this is really, honestly, you working on making new friendships. Um, this is the hawk. It's talking about how you're very logical, you're very serious, you're very mathematical, and that's great. You know, we need our logical mind. You guys know that I'm more like intuitively inclined. But um, what I've been realizing is that your heart is what guides you and then your logic and your intuition and your, your smart decision making skills is what gets you through. So um, don't allow your, your logic and your, your inner critic to continue to put down all of your ideas. Because I'm seeing you come up with an idea, but then your inner critic is like, oh, well, there's other people out there that are doing that already, and I don't know if I'd be good enough. And then you come up with another idea, and then you're just like, oh, well, I'm too fat for that. I really want to model, but I'm too fat, or I'm too <laughs> whatever. I'm too old, or like, you know, I'm a mom and I have so many kids, I don't know how I'm gonna have time for this, that kind of stuff. But they're saying, where there's a will, there's a way. Somehow I made it here to the middle of the forest. I don't even know how I got here, but all I know is I had the will and, and the universe created the way. Something that one of my favorite um, YouTubers, Preston Smiles says is that it's not your job to figure it out. It's your job to welcome it. So decide what you want and then open your arms up, welcome it, it'll come. So I hope that that reading resonated with you guys. It's time to make big decisions and I hope that this helped. I'm sending you so much love and light. Peace out.